first is the news with Rosie Wright. Good afternoon, I'm Rosie Wright. This is your news at 12 o'clock. The Prime Minister will lead tributes in the House of Commons later, honouring Sir David Amos. The MP was killed during a constituency surgery in Leon C in Essex on Friday. Morning prayers will be followed by a minute silence this afternoon and a memorial service is due to be held at Westminster Abbey this evening. The MP for Beckenham, Colonel Bob Stewart, who is a close friend of Sir David, is urging people to be more careful with the language they use. Other people pick it up and say, but they really are scum, let's get rid of them. Let's sort them out. Let's do something. I mean, for goodness sake, you know, where is our decency? Where is our kindness? I mean, we're really, we are, well, for example, David loved animals. He, he spent a huge amount of time trying to look after refugees. And yet, and yet he's still killed. Scotland's vaccine passport scheme is enforceable by law from today. People now have to prove they've been double jabbed to enter nightclubs and large events, showing either a paper copy of their certificate or a QR code on a new app. Well, it's all part of the Scottish Government's efforts to limit the spread of coronavirus and also to increase vaccine take up. Ford is investing up to £230 million to build electric car components in the UK. The company says it's hailed on Merseyside will be transformed to build electric power units for vehicles in Europe. Production is expected to begin mid-2024. The family of a law student who died of meningitis believe he'd still be alive if he'd seen a GP face to face. 26-year-old David Nash had four remote consultations with doctors at a practice in Leeds over a 19-day period. Well, they failed to spot he'd developed mastoiditis in his ear. That caused a brain abscess and he died last November. He should never have gone to A&E in that condition. This mm. is something that should have been sorted out mm. um, way before then. And uh, having approached his GP practice on four occasions, yeah. uh, not to see him, um, I, I think was the primary reason that they failed to recognise his condition. Average asking prices for homes in every part of the country hit new highs this month. The demand has outstripped supply as a record spike for every type of property in every region of Britain. The online property website Rightmove says the so-called full house is an extremely rare event last seen in 2007. It was a big night for British men's sport in the US. Rory McIlroy won the CJ Cup in Las Vegas, joining a select group of just 39 players to have won 20 PGA tournaments. And Cameron Norrie has become the first Brit to win the Indian Wells tennis tournament in California. After dropping the first set, he won the last two to beat Georgia's Nicholas Bastilashvili. It means so much to me, my biggest title. I'm so happy. I can't even describe it right now. Um, it was a strange match today, but no, I mean, uh, absolutely massive for me and my team, and I uh, can't, can't really believe it. Human rights activists have protested as the Beijing 2022 Olympic flame was lit in Greece. Just after the torch was lit, three people unfurled a banner reading No Genocide Games and a Tibetan flag. There are just 100 days before the start of the Winter Olympics in China in February. Well, that's all your news for now. I'll be back with more in half an hour. But right now, let's hand over to Gloria with the briefing. It's a grim day for MPs today. They